Alright, welcome back to the build. And today we are going to continue on and install the bulkhead in the rear here, which will separate the inside compartment from the galley. And once we complete that, then we'll fab up some cabinetry and get those in place before we uh, actually start varnishing everything. Uh, but before we get into that, let me just say this, that, uh, you know, the videos seem to just be really short, which I want to try to keep them short because, you know, 20 minutes, 30 minutes seems like an awful long time to watch a video of somebody cutting some wood. That being said, also, <laughs> a little, little bit about me is I work a full-time job. I go to work at 5.15 in the morning. I don't usually get home to about 5 or 5.30 in the evening. I have Saturdays and Sundays off. In most cases, occasionally a Saturday. Uh, by the time that you are watching this video, I have flown across the United States about 12 times. The company that I work for is a division of a corporation. That corporation purchases companies. And they purchased a company and elected me and I volunteered to go to this company and assist in their scheduling needs. So, if the videos seem to be slow in the coming or the making, that is why. And eventually, uh, it's going to catch up with me and I'm going to get behind. So, uh, <laughs> it's ironic that I'm a scheduler and I'm not going to be able to maybe finish something that I scheduled. Yeah, that's kind of kind of ironic. So, at any rate, that's just a small piece of life here, and that's the way it is. That being said, also, it's just a, a something for you that you don't have to build all this stuff in one day. You don't have to build it in a weekend. Take as long as you need to. Just as long as you're doing something once a day or every week or something like that, one little piece gets you closer to the end. And that's probably how I'm going to have to do this trailer here. So we're at this stage. We're going to put the bulkhead in, we're going to get some cabinetry in, we're going to get some varnish on, and then I'm going to fly across the United States one more time. So, let's get started. So the piece that we're going to be working on is this bulkhead, <clears throat> like I said, separates the front compartment from the galley. And uh, <clears throat> on our countertop we are 1 foot 10 and 7 16 inch back to the edge of our 3 quarter inch plywood. And from the very tallest part, we are an in, one foot six and five eighths inches. So, once we set our piece in place, take our measurements. That's what we should have. We're going to have a slight angle here that we're going to have to cut. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to mark back my one foot uh, ten and seven sixteen inches. Get my line across my countertop. That way I know where to place this. We know that the inside dimension. From side to side is 46 and a half inches. That will be our constant. So I'm going to cut my piece of bulkhead material right here. I'm going to cut that in the width of 46 and a half inches. We'll set it in place on our mark and then we will mark for our top and hopefully we have the one foot six and five eighths inches. We'll see how it goes. I think I'm going to hit my mark. Uh, that's my guess. If anything I'm going to be 30 seconds, 16 ouch. That's good enough for me. So, let's cut some wood. So, according to our drawing, we're going to measure from the back edge of our countertop, 1 foot 10 and 7 16 inch. And we're going to make a line. That'll be the this side of the bulkhead. And then we can measure in 3 eighths of an inch, and we can start drilling for our holes to fasten from underneath and from the outside. So, we're going to go ahead and make the line. We're going to set the bulkhead in place, get it square, strike a couple of lines, make sure our dimensions are correct, and then we will uh, prep to get this thing fastened on here. Pretty quick install, and uh, it should go pretty quick, fast, in a hurry. Super duper, like, shoo, kind of thing. Alright, so we have the bulkhead in place. It's cut 46 and a half inches wide. And I left it tall so I can make sure that I got my dimensions correct. And this is my this is my makeshift clamp for the sides to draw it in at the top. And uh, I've got five clamps there. You know what kind of skill level you need to do that? Whew. Eleven. Anyway, so we've got our bulkhead in place. We've got it somewhat clamped tight and. 
we are square with the countertop which is all important so when we put our cabinets in place everything butts up real nice and pretty like so next step now is I'll mark a line across the top make sure my dimensions are correct we'll get that angle for the top radius and I'll give you a shot of that here in a second and then we can get that cut so that's what you want to do get your bulkhead cut 46 and a half inches wide 10 uh, 1 foot 10 and 7 16 inch back for the front edge here set it in place square it up and then uh, mark it for the bevel and we'll get that cut so next time we get this in place we'll go ahead and describe some lines so we know where it goes next time we put it in and then we can get this thing fastened in it's hot out here all right so I've got my bulkhead cut 46 and a half inches wide and I've scribed for the mark at the top and got my bevel and I'm right on my line so let me show you how to get this angle there's four different ways that I thought of that you can get this angle and you want to do it the easiest way possible <clears throat> so let me show you the four ways that you can do this I did it number one but there's four different ways and uh, either either one's gonna work and it'll get the same results uh, one will take a little bit longer than the next so let me show you what I did and uh, the other three that you can also use so the first step that you're going to take is once your bulkhead is in place and you got it squared and where you want it you're going to mark a line on the top you'll do that on both sides that way you'll have a little scribe mark right there and that is your angle so now how we know what angle that is method number one this is the method I use you have a Matoyo or a Mitotoyo. Mitotoyo combination square. You can purchase these online anywhere from uh, $200 to $500. I happen to have one, so that's what I use. And what you would normally do is you set that on there and you loosen the uh, square and you get it to the angle that you need, tighten it up. Then you read the number that's down here. That's the most simplest method that I have. So I put that on there and uh, lined up my mark, tightened it down, and I've got my angle. So I know what degree to set my saw at. Number two, if you don't have that, then you can use a little T-bevel square. You can purchase these at Harbor Freight anywhere from five to eight bucks and you set that on there what I'll do is I'll set it all the way to the end put it on there and line it up just like so tighten it up take it to my table saw rotate my blade until it's that angle and that'll get you really close you're within a degree or two it depends on your eyesight so number one you can buy the expensive deal two to five hundred bucks or you can go a little cheaper which is uh, five to eight bucks at Harbor Freight on to number three for number three basically you've got your line on uh, your piece of wood you set it on your table saw and you rotate your blade until it is at the angle that looks the closest lock it down do a test cut see if you're close make a few minor adjustments boom you're there and number four <laughs> is for the really good guys I mean there's some guys out there that man they can tell you what the voltage is by sticking their tongue or something into a socket and tell you what amperage and everything it is and by looking at a line they can tell you what angle it is so the fourth one is you just guess at it set your saw at an angle that looks kind of close to what you got make a test cut make a few adjustments make another test cut about three test cuts and you will have it nailed so there are the four uh, ways that I know of how to get this angle one is you buy an expensive tool that uh, saves time you set it up once kick your saw over and make your cut and you're done two use this 
bevel square, put it on your mark, take your table saw, adjust it as best close as that you can, make a cut. If you need to make an adjustment, then set it up and you're done. So a couple adjustments there. Three is you take your piece of wood, set it on your saw, kind of eyeball it and uh, set it up where you need it to, cut it, you're good to go. Other one is you just guess at it, set your saw up at some angle, make a cut, and if it's not right, then make another one. Uh, about three tries and you'll you'll get it right. That's, uh, that's the four ways that I know that you can get that angle. And if you want to know what this angle is, for our bulkhead, it is 23 degrees. So mark that down. Remember it. I don't think I have it on the plans, but I'll try to put that on there. So our bulkhead, once we get in place, our angle for the top that meets the curve of the roof here is going to be 23 degrees. And that's how we did it. Okay, now we're getting ready to fasten our bulkhead. So this first line here is the 1 foot 10 and 7 16 inch back. That is the face of our bulkhead. The center of our plywood is about 3 eighths of an inch because our plywood is about 3 quarters of an inch. So I went back 3 eighths of an inch. And so now I'll just pre-drill some holes in uh, the side and the bottom. And then we'll uh, go through and we'll uh, countersink those and we'll put our bulkhead in place, line it up do my uh, super duty five clamps here get that clamped back up and then we uh, will screw fasten everything in place that will complete the bulkhead and uh, that step is done so we almost have the bulkhead in place and it fits well it's square and it's gonna look nice <laughs>